to tell you we have a lot of awesome things on this week's episode of Anime News Week, your official source of all anime related news. It's gonna be scary. What, really? I used to want to move for some hot boy on boy basketball action with balls and sweating and bromance and love. Anyway, the reason why fangirls are seeing you swimming there when, you know, it's because you know, I, 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 I think you want to feature. But anyway, really, real talk. Shonen Jump has announced that Kirigo Basketball Season 3 is official and is on its way. Now, unfortunately, at the moment, we don't have an official date so far, but we'll definitely keep you posted if we hear anything. Also, I'm personally excited to see the rematch of Kais. Also, we get to see Meteorima versus the Emperor's Eye, the leader of the Generation of Miracles. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Lauren's favorite all-time horror manga, I'm a Hero, is being turned into a live-action movie in 2015. So I'm a little torn because I kind of stopped reading it for a while. If you me on Twitter, you notice that I was like reading it at night. It's getting a little scary, so I had to like turn it off, and I can only read during the daytime now. But it's still really awesome. Yo Oizumi is going to be playing the zombie hunter, the unlikely hero of this story, who goes through the town basically with a shotgun, doesn't even fire it until like way later because he doesn't understand because no one ever had zombie movies in zombie movies. But he's going to be playing the main character and I think he's going to really bring that character to life. We also have Makoto Kamiya who is the brilliant and really spooky visual effects artist and makeup expert behind movies like Gons and Resident Evil, Degeneration, so you know he's going to bring all these like really spooky, gooey aspects to life that really struck hard in this 2009 best-selling horror manga. The Chimera Ant arc has finally, slowly but surely, is coming to an end in Hunter x Hunter, and my personal favorite arc is coming up with Aluka and the Zodiacs, and actually you can see right here a sneak preview of what they look like in their anime design, which look beautiful. Personally, I like snakes. Snakes are black. Did you know that? Snakes are a black character, which I highly approve because she is so, so pretty. Also, they have a Luca Zoltic, my personal favorite Zoltic. I would like, I want to, as much as I want to fanboy and tell you why, it is kind of a spoiler and I don't want to take the impact away when you find out what you can really do. But do check it out and also let me know what you guys think about it and what you're excited for at the comments down below. No Game No Life has been in the news a couple times in the past couple of weeks. I mean, we go to MoaCon and come back, but they're all over the place. First of all, the creators of the anime had to apologize for stealing a design for a magical circle that they found from amateur artist Ika Kucha, which means you born, right here, um, that they had in episode 7 of the show. So once the artist found out, he was not that happy, went online, tweeted it, and they actually offered an apology and said they were going to take the design out of the Blu-ray and DVD edition. How did it happen that a big show like this stole somebody's random online that seems like players, right? Well, whoops, they used it as a reference, but they end up copying the whole thing. You know, magical circles all look the same, no one's gonna notice, right? Uh, no, you need to really be careful with that. What they are being careful about is where they keep their idols and who can shake their hand, because somehow in Japan this is a big deal. During a meet and greet with the anime's opening theme song singer, Konomi Suzuki, they had to cancel the handshake portion of the meet and greet for various circumstances. These various circumstances might have something to do with the fact that two idol members and a staff member of the idol group AKB48 was attacked by a saw wielding fan just at the end of May. So it actually probably was a good idea. They're kind of trying to keep everything safe. What's up with handshakes in Japan, guys? Why can't we all just get along and do normal handshakes? Here in America, we got that down. So hopefully no game, no life won't make it into the news anymore for the past month. It's just going to keep being an awesome anime. So it's kind of getting scary over there on the production side. That was everything on Anime News Week. We had a lot of stuff to talk about, apparently Psycho Pass and Kira Goes Basketball. But let us know what you guys think about it on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, and actually, you guys on Twitter have been really, really awesome. We've been talking, We've got a couple voice actors on there, a couple of other news stations around in Atlanta who do podcasts and talk about anime. So you guys are super awesome, and I um, just want to give you guys a shout out. But yeah, comment down below what you guys think, any newsworthy stories that you've seen. Follow us on Twitter and uh, also on Facebook. You can catch some really cool pictures that you can post now. Also, really quick, we just were at MomoCon. I know we've been telling you guys about it for a thousand times, but we actually have all of our MomoCon footage up and running. Don't forget to check that out. Like and subscribe. This is the Manga Night. And Little Ren. Signing off.